You guys like, oh, it's so derpy, right? Well, now you guys can get them and the gang as stickers. Aren't they just precious? Check them out at the link down below. The content within this video is not suitable for children. Viewer discretion is advised. Everything's all ready for Thanatos to eat, I guess. I hope he actually eats. I mean, he asked me to make this for him, but... Whenever he's been asking lately, he kind of pushes it off. I guess he just wants me to feel like I have something to do. Or actually, I do have a lot of things I could do. Maybe while he eats today, I could ask about training. I mean, he mentioned wanting to train me a few weeks ago. But he hasn't really left his room much. And I don't want to bother him with it. But that would give me something to do. And maybe he'd like it. If he liked it, then... It makes him happy a little too, right? I guess that'd be good too. Um... He's probably on the balcony again. What if he doesn't want to train me, though? I mean, maybe he wanted to when he said that, but maybe with everything that's going on and how he's feeling, he just can't really bring himself to do it. I mean, if he says no, or maybe later, then, then I won't bother him with it, and I can find something else to do. Other than cook, and doesn't want to eat much. Um, Santa toast. Mm. Oh, oh. <clears throat> hello, hello, Karina. Do you, do you need something, dear? I made the meal you asked for. You did? Mm-hmm. I, I see. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you, Karina. Mm hmm Something on your mind, dear? Um, well, it's, um, a few weeks ago, you mentioned, um, wanting to help me with my magic and training me. And I know you've been busy, so I haven't really got it up. Screw it. I can push it off now. Hmm. You're right. I promised you help with your magic and training. And we shall help. And I shall do that now. Right or wrong. Let us find a place for you to sleep. Uh, okay. I mean, we, we don't have to do it this very second. Now. Well, okay. Um, I'll just use my room then. I'll be in my bed. I will meet you. Okay. There. I didn't expect him to say yes that fast. The food's gonna get cold. Well, I figured he wasn't gonna eat it anyways. Guess I'll try this then. I'm back here. Uh, so how do I... I mean, I don't think I should get Thanatos here. That'd be really awkward. Because a lot of these dreams are kind of embarrassing. And... I made them with the knowledge that no one but me would see them. So, if I'm supposed to get into Thanatos' dream, I guess I could 
make a gate again? Like, uh, how I accidentally did with Morris. But, I don't know, I don't want to mess that up and accidentally go to Morris again. Uh, what I, is this? I, I thought I was going into your dream, not you coming into mine. Uh, I'd rather have gone to your mindscape, but what is this, Karina? Um, well, uh, a long time ago, you, you told me that I could cr create my own dreams. You can, yes. So I thought I'd make it easier for myself to categorize and sort them. So these doors lead to different dreams I created. You created these? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll be honest, Karina. Not even your father can do something like this. Uh... Really? He can't store dreams. He has to make them anew, practically. Oh. Uh... You can... But you've managed to organize them somehow. Mm-hmm. It was pretty easy, I think. What do these dreams hold, exactly? Oh, um... Well, well... <laughs> I, had, uh, it's, I don't know if you'd be really in interested in that that sort of thing. Oh, please, Karina, I've I've lacked my um. I've not taken care of your dream knowledge properly. That is on me, but I do need to take care of it, none regardless. What do these dreams hold? Um, different worlds I created. I call them worlds, but, um, they're just different things for me to do. What if this one? Um, that's a, a big library for me to write books that I think are, think are nice. Interesting dream. Mm. That one? Um... When we went to the human world, um, there was, a, a lake there, and it was really pretty, so I just remembered it, and sometimes whenever I'm thinking about it, I just go back. You are interesting, Karina. Thank you, I think. Oh, father cannot do any of that at all. Really? All right. I mean, I know you said it, but it's really strange he can't, so I can. Some gods just do not have the ability that children do. And some children do not have the abilities that parents do. Well, yeah. Regardless. Regardless of that. I want you to try and connect to a dream. How did you get to Morse? Um, it was kind of strange. I was just thinking about him and and suddenly a big <clears throat> gate appeared right there. It was bigger than the other doors. I see. I, I didn't know what led to him. I want you to attempt to connect to another person's dream. Not not Morse. Okay. Do you think you can do that? Well, who, whose dream would you like me to connect to? Typically, what your father did beforehand was that he'd wander the dreamscape, going from mortal to mortal, finding those that had interesting dreams. He was a bit of a trickster back then, but... You can... Probably do the same thing. I mean, you already make your own dreams, store them, really. It shouldn't be much of a challenge for you to connect to someone else's. 
I mean, yeah. You think you can try? I think so. So just anyone at random? Any person. I would suggest not dreaming of or trying to connect the gods. They do not really take kind to that sort of thing. Okay. Um. I'm just thinking about... Mm. You got it, Karina. Maybe... I guess I could always just use... Go to Lucknos. I mean, if he's not... I don't think not he's... Not Lucknos. I don't think he's sleeping. How about... Well, there was that mortal at the bakery me and Morris went to that one time. And we got donuts. Seems as though you can connect to other people's dreams. Where I just made a door. Oh no, don't just a door. I will not go with you, but you should head in and see what you got. Okay, um, I will. And then when I want to leave, I can just come back through the door? The way your father described it to me is that the door stayed. You didn't have to focus on it. You can return whenever you wish. Okay. Or until the dreamer wakes up. Oh, okay. I guess I'll give this a shot then. Ah. Uh, what? What? What is going on? Uh. Why is? I'm confused. There's a giant dog. Where even am I? What is this dream about? My dreams make sense. This is confusing. Why would you want a giant dog thing? It just seems confusing. Uh. Quack. Uh. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack! Ah! Oh! That actually hurt! Quack, 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 quack. Oh, I, I guess I could just go then? That could be quack, quack, quack. Okay, I guess. Uh, hey, um, I, um, I'll quack, just. Quack. I'll, I'll go, I guess. This is very confusing. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> well, what was the matter? I, I went in the dream and there was a giant dog thing and then there was a duck that started pecking at me and, and I don't know where we were. It was really confusing. Well, some I know the saying is that dreams have meaning, but sometimes it just isn't any meaning. However, the dog was big. Yeah, really big. That might me? mean that they've missed their dog. And there it goes. Oh, oh. Well. I will say your gift has certainly expanded. However, I'm uncertain if it's what your limits are. Your father had doors to an infinite hallway of them, but you can make your own dreams. Maybe that's the difference between the two of you. You can visit other dreams, but you have to imagine the person. You have to picture them in your mind. Is that limiting, though? Or... It depends. It depends on how you look at it. Your father doesn't really go into the dreamscape often. You have limitless imagination in your dreams. Things you can control at a whim. 
and you can go to others and manipulate them. If I'm being honest, you could have gotten rid of that duck that was pecking you if you wanted to. Oh. Besides, it probably didn't hurt anyways. It did hurt. What do you mean it hurt? It hurt. He actually pecked me and it hurt. Uh, dreams don't hurt. Maybe it's different for me? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Regardless, Stu, your powers are expanding. I would suggest you attempt to see your reach. No, it seems as though you can reach as far as you want, even past the Elysium walls. I suppose, yeah. What you lack for in quantity, you make up for in quality, Karina. I guess that's a nice way to say it. Well, it is true. I would say I would help you a bit more, but I'm afraid I cannot. What you do now is on you, and how you approach dreams. That is also on you. Okay. I would say, as an assignment, when you go to sleep, try to change someone else's dream. I let you change mine, but some people are far more stronger willed. Okay, that's, that's a good idea. Thank you. Of course. Now, shall I eat my cold dinner? I can go reheat it if you'd like. <laughs> Let's do that, Karina. Okay.